Hey guys, welcome. To some of you, welcome back. Today's video, I'm, I'm uh, retesting the Mirage F1CE. I'm going to do some sustained turn tests, some instantaneous turn tests. I'll show you how I'm doing those. And then uh, at the end, I'm going to do some uh, slower end speed stuff, which caught my eye and something interesting. I've also brought up graph. Right there you can see the stick. Some of you guys asked for that before. So uh, let's go ahead and let's start. Let's take off and then we'll, uh, we'll talk more about the test once we get up there at 5,000 feet. So, full afterburner, and I am going to show the takeoff here just because I love the F1. F1 CE takeoffs are tough and hard. you got to be so easy on the controls. The rudder, and then just the nose has to bring it up just a little bit so you don't get a tail strike. Keep it on the center line. Keep it on the, There we go. It's lifted off. Perfect. Gear up. And then... 50 let's get the flaps up too okay perfect and let's go ahead for the testing area now it lifted off about 180 that's when it kind of lifted off the ground uh, and in real life this weighed about what is it uh, I got 80 percent 75 percent of fuel and two missiles for testing that gives me about 50 60 percent of fuel for testing when I get to the area uh, um, which is uh, kind of the configuration we want to test in the um, Anyway, the liftoff should have been about 170, 175. It lifted off about 180, uh, and uh, that's close enough. It really is close enough for uh, to the actual thing. So, okay, uh, here we go. Here's 5,000 feet. We're already there. Uh, first test that I do is the sustained turn test. I've already done this. I have the numbers. I'll post them as I'm doing this test. So, <clears throat> the, uh, usually what I do is I'll start off at 600 or more, and then go down by 20 uh, by a, uh, a factor of 25 so 600 575 uh, 550 525 in this case I'll start off at about five um, 500 let's go full afterburner and then we're going to a turn maintain it level and we want to maintain that speed that's very important that's giving us the sustained turn so I'll do this for about 10 15 20 seconds until it's stabilized right there and then we'll, I'll, we'll read out the, the, the numbers note it down plot it uh, later on then the next test would be the uh, test would be at 475 so we'll get it down to 475 stay there for a uh, few seconds 10 15 20 seconds until it's stable and then we'll go to uh, 450 and then keep it at 450 and then we'll get these numbers and now if you see these numbers I'm gonna put up the graph they are very accurate above 300 so I test all the way down to the lowest I can uh, in this case it's 250 and there's a reason for that I want to talk about that in just a second um, okay the next thing the next test that I do is instantaneous usually I'll go up to 600 and then pull here I'll just go to 500 and pull and this has to be a steady pull a hard pull it has to be a high angle of attack maximum turn uh, if you look at the uh, if you look at the airspeed, it's, it's bleeding, it's dropping, it's dropping. There we go. Keep going, keep going. And here, up to this point, it's good. Here is where I think problems start with this uh, F1. So right now I'm at the 300. I'm gonna full stick back. And okay, 260 knots. Uh, and look at that. Shaking stop. I'm full stick back. I'm about 250. Level flight. And the airplane's not dropping. Uh, the airspeed is not dropping anymore. 245 maybe. But that's it. I got full stick back and the airspeed is not dropping. Now I, I know I know this is beeping, so just ignore it guys. Uh, nothing we can do about that right now. But this is very inaccurate right here let me tell you what I'm talking about here okay so uh, is that a Turkish flag or a Cyprus never never mind uh, <laughs> sorry distracted there uh, squirrel uh oh okay so uh, here's what I'm talking about the um, airplanes um, have something called second segment drag this is a, a, a drag that exists at lower speeds under Mach 0.5 in this case about 300 knots and what happens under that speed 
um, the angle of attack actually creates more of a drag than you would the same angle of attack at a higher speed, believe it or not. So as you're under 300 knots, you would keep pulling and pulling, and the airplane would keep slowing down more and more and more. And as a matter of fact, in the F1, the pilots would pull down to about 150, and, and that's when they would release. Uh, in this case, uh, under 300, we're giving it a full pull, full pull, full pull, full pull, full pull. All right, at this point, I got the pull stick back. It's not stalling. Now, we're very close to a stall, and I'll talk about that in just a second, too. But the, the bigger concern right here is that it's not slowing down, and it just seems like um, the Mirage F1 may actually be missing the, uh, the second segment drag. And that is, uh, where that problem is, if we look at the graph again, I'm going to bring it up, and you can see the tail end of it, or actually the beginning end of it, under 300 knots, uh, you can see how the actually the uh, the turn rate goes up. The turn rate at a lower speed, sustained turn rate at a lower speed, is actually higher than it is at 300 knots. Actually, up, then goes down, then comes back up again. Now that second part past 300, that's accurate. But this beginning part, that is very very concerning because that kind of shows, at least to me, that this plane is missing that drag that in in, in concert with uh, not, it not slowing down just kind of shows me that the that drag was either missed or um, somehow turned off accidentally so uh, now as far as stalls this is the last thing I'm going to talk about here before we go back for a landing um, the airplane will stall at slow speed I have tested that but um, technically the airplane should stall under 300 knots if you have full stick back which I do it's not stalling but we can get away with this because we're actually in a pre-stall here and I'll show you why because if I use ailerons look I'm gonna use left aileron and we're gonna stall the right wing look here goes left aileron and here goes the stall it actually flipped me over to the other side that was a, that was a stall of the right wing because I used the aileron and that happens um, when you're at near pre-stall or, or stall air speeds and you use ailerons it, it has the opposite effect of actually stalling one wing so that is that is uh, uh, fairly accurate so we know we were very close to a stall even if it wasn't in the stall okay now let's go back for a landing over there and uh, we'll call it a day okay guys so the last thing on this uh, on this test is just to land it just because I love to land the F1 is kind of hard but to kind of recap of, of, uh, of the test is the module is great uh, above 300 knots it's on the spot it's on the money uh, in both instantaneous and sustained turns the problems come in when uh, under 300 knots and that appears to be that the second segment drag is missing and that's what's keeping it a little too fast and that's what's giving it that extra turn ability and not slowing down ability on the uh, that uh, the, uh, an airplane should have now um, overall for whatever reason that was missed or not added or removed accidentally uh, I don't know but it should be added back just to make this module a perfect module so now as far as the landing I always love the landings in the F1 just because they're so hard uh, you literally have to come in at the right speed and then when you come in uh, you cannot flare too much you have to do just a minor flare right here like that and just hit the center line and then try to stay on that center line using those funky rudders and one of the reasons I don't use the uh, the parachute is because I love to stay on the center line it's a challenge okay now uh, as I said overall great module couple improvements that should be done but other than that uh, I really do do enjoy it very much so hope you like the video take care and I'll see you guys soon